What's going on, y'all? It's your boy D Maze for Mind Games Uncut. We are here. I just want to do this video. Um, <clears throat> I was kind of, um, I was looking at this actual movie, man, and um, um, I'm gonna post the, I'm gonna post the video at the end about. Uh, it's called Queen Sono. I think it's Queen Sono on Netflix. Check it out, y'all. Hey, so far they're touching on a whole lot of stuff when they talk about white supremacy. But it's like, this is the type of films we need to be making in America, man. I mean, I know with the whole FBA and uh, ADOS thing, I understand what, you know, we got to handle our business here. But at the same time, I told y'all my stance. You know, I said I'm all for reparations and all that. You know what I'm saying? Be one first. Once we get it, we need to start trading over there in Africa. Because let me tell you, them brothers and sisters over there are making moves, man. I don't know if y'all been paying attention. Even with the whole movie industry thing, you know what I'm saying? They doing it. I mean, they're making top quality films. But anyway, I want to touch on a part about the religion of black people. Um, it's amazing how we still, as a people, are locked into that Christianity by the way the white man you know, had put it on as far as they say the Christianity originated in Africa. I'm pretty sure it is. Everything originated in Africa. But at the same time, when they brought us over and when they enslaved us, you know, they twisted the Bible around like they do everything else. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, they used it to enslave us. We know that. But I'm trying to figure out why in the hell 2020 you got white Jesus, white Jesus and white angels still in the churches across the country in black churches. And some people say, oh, the color don't matter. Yes, it does. Mentally, it messes us up because at the end of the day. A lot of us still infatuated and we love our masters. We love our white mommy and daddy. Let's keep it real. This is the type of thing some people talk about still. And like I said, y'all know me. I don't consider myself pro-black because, you know, like you said, be one first. Anyway, I know I'm black. That's why I don't always put black on everything because I know I'm black. We don't have to do that. We don't want people to do that. But anyway, that's another story. Um, but yeah, man, I don't go to church. I believe in a high power. I believe in energy. I'm a spiritual person. I consider myself a spiritual person, you know, and I respect anybody religion. But at the same time, y'all, let's kill this. When you go to these churches and stuff, you got to take that crap down. I'm sorry. I don't care who I offend. You know me. I keep it real. You know what I'm saying on here? That's how we do my games uncut. And no disrespect to TD Jakes. No disrespect to Cruffalo Doll. I'm pretty sure y'all do stuff in the community, but look, brothers. We need to do more as a church. All the black churches need to come together. All these big mega churches, we dropping millions and millions and millions of dollars. I mean, billions of dollars every year. Come on, y'all. And then a lot of people don't even know. A lot of these so-called mega churches are Republicans. Like it really matters because Democrat Republicans are the same. They're letting you know they're about that money first. You know what I'm saying? And then you can go to Joe Olsen. though he's a white guy. Any black person go to that church, they are, they crazy as hell. It's no way. I, you can look at this dude smile. Look at this guy smile. He like a, he, he like he smiling, but he like an evil smile. I'm taking your damn money. You know what I'm saying? Forget Joel Osteen. And I'm gonna be honest with you too. You got a lot of other, you got black people that kind of doing the same thing he doing, and all of them be up under in the same circle. Like I told you, all these people clicked in together, man. You know what I'm saying? So we got to be careful when we you know when we like when we follow certain people when it comes to religion don't get it twisted it is some good churches out there we deal with churches i'm going to say we deal with a certain church we know they're doing good in the community you know what i'm saying i'm not knocking all black churches but a lot of black churches are manipulating our people you know what i'm saying they're getting paid off of them you go into the neighborhood it should be like a, you should have more daycare centers like kids affordable daycare centers you should have you should be creating businesses and stuff like that. At one time, black black churches was doing that. You know what I'm saying? But now, I don't know what the hell's going on in in the, in the economy we in right now. You know what I'm saying? We should have workshops and stuff like that, teaching our people um, certain skill sets. You feel me? That's what I'm saying, man. I'm calling y'all out. I'm calling out the TGJs. I'm calling out the Creflo Dollars and all the other mega churches. You know what I'm saying? The black churches. It's time for y'all to step up. You know what I'm saying? I mean, why go in there and pray if you ain't giving back to your community? I mean, my thing is, y'all look. Religion only goes so far. That's why you got so many people that's not going to church anymore. You know what I'm saying? Because they, you can read the Bible at home. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to go to this big mega church because that's the that's the place to be. Or just say, I belong to this certain church. Like Newburgh. You know what I'm saying? I know it alone there. I've got a new pastor that's there. I heard you doing some things in the community. Like I said, I'm not knocking the brothers, man. I'm pretty sure these brothers do stuff in the community. 
But at the same time, a lot of we have a lot of issues in our community and I don't see them kept coming out on. Why do they don't talk about reparations? You know why? Because they're getting that bread or tangibles. You know what I'm saying? Why they don't push on that? You got a lot of them. They 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 <laughs> they letting these white politicians, these liberals come in there and, and, and use their church to, you know what I'm saying, to bring in more black people so they can vote for them. And then we're going to go through the same situation. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to leave y'all with this right here. <laughs> and then tell me what y'all think. I'm out. Peace. <laughs> Pathetic, pathetic, pathetic. You know what, Pastor Banda? You are what we call an agent of imperial oppression. Instead of building your own systems of self-determination, what do you do? You ask us to hope, to pray, so that you, the greedy pig, can consume it all. See, the white man told you to have faith in his God while he stole from you. And now our very own black brothers are using the same God to exploit us.